So our project here is taking one of these handy dandy USB chargers with a voltage indicator on it. So usually they light up. We'll see if this one, this one might not. Eh, nope, let's get the numbers in there. So right there in the middle is a voltage indicator when it's on. And what we've done is right next to the switch panel on this M6040, we went ahead, my boy and I, we drilled a hole and we're gonna go ahead and mount this. And we're gonna put this voltage meter right here next to the switch panel. I found you. Thank you. And what we need to use to do it is the Milwaukee hole saw set. And the size for this was inch and an eighth. And why did you take all these off? Well, Roger, that's a good question. I'll explain it to these guys. So to get behind this panel, and this panel does come out, you have to take all the levers off, and then you have to unbolt the loader controls, and you can lift this whole panel out. So what we're going to do, and what we've done, is we've unbolted the panel. We double-checked there's enough room. We drilled our inch and one-eighth hole. We're going to mount this guy in. And then we're going to do a harness that allows us to plug into the stock cigarette lighter. And we'll run a splitter. So this one will still work. And then we'll have a wire that comes up to this. And the reason why we're doing this is the boys like to take naps behind the seat. I put a couple pillows back here and whatnot. And they'll break off whatever charging cords I have back here. With their feet and whatever else. So we are moving it up here where I can leave my cell phone next to the loader controls. Hey, Jack-Jack. Let's not break anything, boy. All right, stop picking at each other, boys. So we've made our jumper wire. So what we've done, it's the length of tinned marine grade sheathed wire. We've got our two female ends to go up through and plug into the cigarette lighter up top. We measured enough length to a fish behind the dash to get there. And on this end, down here in the semi-dark, we made our little T that plugs in. So we have our set of mail going into the power side on the tractor coming to the cigarette letter. And then we have our little tee off, which is our little um, female ends plugging in. We're gonna electrical tape that up. We already know power comes through because it lights up this cigarette letter. And then we should have power through to our USB and um, voltage indicator. Then we can bolt the whole dash back in. It's a pain in the butt that you had to take this whole dash out to get out the back side of this. Dad! What? Why is it soft in you? Oh, that, those are sh marine grade connectors. So when they get hot and we seal them up, they seal over the ends and then we have to use a knife to cut them and trim them so the ends open up. But they're pretty tough little waterproof connectors. And the nice thing about them is you can shape them a little bit. So we get a little bit of a bend to make getting behind that a little easier. So we'll get this plugged in, bolted back in. We'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. But that's a simple little harness. So you don't have to modify anything on the boat itself besides cringe cringe drilling a hole but other than that she's good to go and that switch plate will pop back in don't put it in yet buddy uh too many helping hands so here is what the charging point looks like after about three or four months of hard use so this is the cigarette lighter usb port and a voltage meter that we installed it's plumbed in all the way back here in the back moving all the junk out of the way but way back here in the back is the factory cigarette lighter, which the boys climb back here and sleep on pillows and things and they break them off all the time. So I tapped in and made a harness that teed into it and then ran all the way up to here and we were able to tuck it in to the plastic here by the door. The reason I went with this instead of one to snap in, which is another option you can do, is the reviews on these were tenuous at best. And I've used this version of the USB um, cigarette lighter on everything. I've had it on trucks, cars, side-by-sides, everything on the farm. So I already know it lasts, and I have several that are a couple years old, and it always reads well. So you can see the voltage when the tractor's running is 14.3. As soon as the tractor shuts off, we turn it back on, and we make sure the radio stays off. You can see... It dropped down to 13.5. And that flashing you see is purely on the phone side of things. I see no flashing in real life on that light. So it's kind of weird how the phone shows the flash to it. And you can see the voltage drop here slowly because I have multiple lights on this thing. 
So we'll shut that off. It's so, it works great. I can charge my phone. The charging cord is up out of the way so the boys don't break it off anymore. I got a voltage meter that tells me what the battery is doing. And it's worked awesome. So another nice Kubota upgrade.